All right, let's do a take two on this. Uh, a really good idea when you're doing any work on your bike is to put it on. I made a little dyno here. See, this is just a an exercise platform. You, I think I bought this on Amazon for like a hundred bucks. You normally, just put a bike on this and you can pedal the bike and work out. It's also like a good little dyno to work on your bike, makes it nice and solid, and you can run the motor. So anyway, I want to talk again about the. Uh, about the settings that I have for the computer to kind of baseline. If you're trying to make one of these, you can see what I have the computer set to. Here we are, I got my 48, my 64 volt battery mounted, connected. Um, and I got my bike on its dyno for test. So let's start it up. Hold down the button. Okay, now the version of firmware that I'm using, it doesn't really matter since I don't have the pedal assist system, PAS. I don't have the pedal assist sensor installed, nor do I have the brakes installed. I'm totally throttle by bike. I run all on throttle. So I have this set up just to run on throttle. Uh, and that's kind of the configuration we're gonna take a look at. You can see the first setting, hold, hold the two buttons down to get into the programming mode. First setting is how, has, is how bright the screen is. So I'm just gonna leave that where it is. The second setting you can see down here, number two is the units of measure. We're gonna leave it on miles per hour. The third one, you can see down here, it says this is the voltage, voltage grades. So this isn't gonna be on a, 40, a 64 volt battery. So we have 60 volts as the setting that they allow me. There's a discrete number of settings that they allow in here. You've got 48 volt, 36 volt, 24 volt, 72 volt, 60 volts. So we just leave it on 60 volt because I have a 64 volt battery. The next thing, number four, is the sleep time. We don't want any sleep time, so that's set to a zero. The next one, number five, is the pass mode. So we just have three different grades of pass. You can set whatever we want to since we're not using the pass mode, so just leave that at zero. Let's go back. Go back into mode, so that was five. Number six is the wheel size, 26 inches. Number seven is the speed magnet. They call it the speed magnet, uh, speed measuring magnets. The range is from zero to 100. They told me uh, at Bikeling to set this to 46. So it's at 46. And uh, 46, the next one is number eight, the speed limit. We have this set for 40 kilometers per hour. That'll be about 30 miles an hour. And uh, the next one, uh, God, it keeps resetting here. After you set them, you just leave it alone and it'll go back and so save the, the changes that you made. Next one, number nine, is the, uh, go down here and turn the page. You see number nine is zero start, which we don't want. Number 10 is whether it's driven by pass, driven by the throttle, which is a one, uh, uh, or driven by pass and throttle. Now we're running this thing only by throttle. So you can see for setting number nine, we have it set to, do I have zero? Is that no right there? No, 10. Setting number 10 is one. And that means it's driven only by the throttle. And then 11 and 12 and 13 are pass mode settings. If you're using pass, I'm not, so they're ignored. And then uh, there are other settings here. Let's go back and take a look at that. So you can see 11 is pass sensitivity, 12 is pass start strength, 13 is pass magnet type. I think we had, the one I had on there had five magnets on it. 14 is a current limiting of the controller, which could be useful to make the controller a little bit more passive. And I think it's in amps. And then uh, 15 is not used, and 16 is a reset to allow you to reset the, uh, reset the odometer. Let's go back to take a look at those. There's 10 is pass mode. 11, 12, and 13 are pass mode parameters. 14, looks like 15 amps is what we have set as a limit on this one, the current limiting of the controller, 15 amps. And then 52.5 is uh, 
or it's not implemented, so it doesn't really do anything. So that's the what I set these to, and that gives you the uh, a a look at how to set the computer. If you if you're uh, trying to build one and you want to uh, copy what I do, this works perfectly. I've been using this one for quite a while, and uh, you can see now that now that I have it set up on the dyno, when I turn the throttle, I can test the motor's operation. So. I think if ever you're going to hook up the battery and turn the system on, your safest to put it up on some kind of a stand just in case uh, you hit the throttle or something and it gets away from you. Anyway, have a good one.